SpaceX CRS-6, also known as SPX-6, was a commercial resupply service mission to the International Space Station, contracted to NASA. It was the eighth flight for SpaceX's Uncrewed Dragon cargo spacecraft and the sixth SpaceX operational mission contracted to NASA under a commercial resupply services contract. It was docked to the International Space Station from 17 April to 21 May 2015. Topic: Launch history. As of July 2014, the launch was tentatively scheduled by NASA for February 2015, with berthing to the station occurring two days later. However, as a result of delays in the launch of the previous SpaceX CRS-5 mission, CRS-6 launched on the 14th of April 2015. In late March 2015, the launch was tentatively scheduled for the 13th of April 2015, but was later postponed to the 14th of April 2015 due to weather conditions. A Federal Communications Commission application submitted for temporary communication frequency authority notes the launch planning date as no earlier than the 8th of April 2015. The application also confirms communication uplinks for use with the first stage of this mission as it conducts another attempt at a first ever propulsive landing on the autonomous spaceport drone ship after staging. Topic: Payload. Topic: Primary payload. NASA has contracted for the CRS-6 mission from SpaceX and therefore determines the primary payload, date, time of launch, and orbital parameters for the Dragon space capsule. The Dragon spacecraft was filled with 2,015 kg 4, of supplies and payloads, including critical materials to directly support about 40 of the more than 250 science and research investigations that will occur during Expeditions 43 and 44, among other items on board. Planetary resources will transport an ARCID-3, known as ARCID-3 reflight, to the ISS aboard Dragon on CRS-6. Planetary plans to deploy the SmallSat from the ISS via a Nanorax provided service, in an attempt to validate and mature the technology of its ARCID series of spacecraft. This is the second ARCID-3 satellite. In October 2014, the first ARCID-3 satellite was destroyed on launch in the explosion of the Orbital Sciences Antares launch vehicle carrying it aboard the third Cygnus cargo resupply flight to the ISS. Planet Labs will transport 14 Flock 1E Earth Observation CubeSat satellites for later deployment from the space station via an agreement with Nanorax, operator of the Center for the Advancement of Science in Space CASIS. <laughs> Secondary payload SpaceX has the primary control over manifesting, scheduling and loading secondary payloads. However, there are certain restrictions included in their contract with NASA that preclude specified hazards on the secondary payloads, and also require contract specified probabilities of success and safety margins for any SpaceX reboosts of the secondary satellites once the Falcon 9 second stage has achieved its initial low Earth orbit LEO. CRS-6 included science payloads for studying new ways to possibly counteract the microgravity-induced cell damage seen during spaceflight. The effects of microgravity on the most common cells in bones gather new insight that could lead to treatments for osteoporosis and muscle wasting conditions. Continue studies into astronaut vision changes and test a new material that could one day be used as a synthetic muscle for robotics explorers of the future. Also making the trip will be a new espresso machine for space station crews. A part of this payload includes science experiments from high schools, such as a project from Ambassador High School in Torrance, California. Topic: <laughs> Return payload. 
Dragon returned 1,370 kg 3 of cargo to Earth. Post-launch flight test After the separation of the second stage, SpaceX conducted a flight test and attempted to return the nearly empty first stage of the Falcon 9 through the atmosphere and land it on a 90 by 50 meter feet times 160 feet floating platform called the Autonomous Spaceport Drone Ship. The unmanned rocket technically landed on the floating platform, however it came down with too much lateral velocity, tipped over, and was destroyed. Elon Musk later explained that the bipropellant valve was stuck, and therefore the control system could not react rapidly enough for a successful landing. This was SpaceX's second attempt to land the booster on a floating platform after an earlier test landing attempt in January 2015 had to be abandoned due to weather conditions. The booster was fitted with a variety of technologies to facilitate the flight test, including grid fins and landing legs to facilitate the post-mission test. If successful, this would have been the first time in history that a rocket booster was returned to a vertical landing. On the 15th of April, SpaceX released a video of the terminal phase of the descent, the landing, the tip over, and a small deflagration as the stage broke up on the deck of the ASDS. Topic: <laughs> Capsule reflight. The Dragon capsule was successfully launched again in December 2017 with CRS-13. Topic. See also. List of Falcon 9 launches.